Okay, in this video I just want to go over an alternate explanation for hydrogen bonding. A friend of mine asked about it and I figured I'd just do a video. It would be a lot easier than um, responding individually so everybody could see this. Um, so what is hydrogen bonding? Well, it's a special case of dipole-dipole interactions. So it's a special case of dipole-dipole interactions. So here the unequal distribution of electrons is intrinsic to the bond and it's caused by a difference in electronegativity between the hydrogen and either the N or O. We don't need to talk about fluorine because we're talking about bi biomolecules and we're not going to see fluorine in most cases. Um, the partially positive charge on the hydrogen and one of the OH bond and one of the OH bonds is attracted to the partial negative charge uh, of either an O or N. So to demonstrate that I have a water molecule here and if we go back to organic chemistry we'll probably remember that there's a delta negative here, so partial negative charge here, and a delta positive on the hydrogen. Now we can form a hydrogen bond with this because we have an OH here and if we add another water molecule here which also has the same property. So again, there's this, there's this difference in electronegativity here. This is partially negative, this is partially positive. And this is going to form a hydrogen bond, just like that. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about differences in electronegativity between the O and the H. So you can do, and one of the unique things about water is you can do this with um, four molecules. You could form four hydrogen bonds, so this is kind of cool. So again, partial positive here and a partial negative down here. So you can see how that's going. And we could do that again over here. This time we'll just put the O facing here, just like that. We could do the same thing over here and form another hydrogen bond right there. So you can form four total hydrogen bonds. And since the H atom is small and the degree of polarity is high, this bond is much stronger than, the typic than is typically seen in dipole-dipole interactions. So hence it's given its own name. So that's why it's called hydrogen bonding and not just called the dipole-dipole interaction. Because the hydrogen atom is small, the degree of polarity is high, and the bond is then much stronger because of this. So I just wanted to kind of give this as an alternative explanation to hydrogen bonding. Thanks.